So here we are now, and all, all they needed was kids. But then the British were not in agreement with all this. And in those days, the children would have to be brought through Britain. There was no other way of getting them here. In other words, they would come to, to Do Calais, then they had to come across to Dover, and then by train to Holyhead. Uh, there were no planes, that, that was the only way they could come. So they ran into that roadblock. And that roadblock was um, removed by a very uh, unexpected source. Field Marshal Montgomery is Irish. Well, he was, he's dead now, of course. And they approached, and Field Marshal Montgomery was the hero of here. It was almost like Wellington at this stage, El Alamein and all that. And uh, Field Marshal Montgomery was approached on behalf of the Save the German Children Society by the Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster, the Catholic Cardinal Archbishop of Westminster, to see what could be done. And it was he who unlocked it. Now, the condition was they couldn't stop in the UK. They came in, calated over, and straight across the Hollyhead and over to Ireland. But the route was cleared. So, from mid-1946, children started to arrive here. Um, of course, you've got to understand the politics and the religion of the day. Uh, they all had to be Catholic. We say, all had to be Catholic. And, um, uh, there were no Protestant children, and uh, now it's very hard for us to understand that. It was a very Catholic operation. And that seems extraordinary nowadays, but in the world uh, in Ireland as it was then, that was perfectly okay. Uh, now, they arrived in, in Dunleary, and they would have been very, very tired, you know, have been tried, and they were collected in uh, Germany by the German Red Cross. Uh, and also were assistant from the British Red Cross, who would have been active in Germany at that time. And they were all collected here and they're put into groups and accompanied by the Red Cross across to Ireland. They were handed over at Calais to the Irish Red Cross. And most of these children had no idea where they were going. When you spoke to them later, like, I hadn't a clue, but it was exciting. And it, it was better than rummaging in the streets of Berlin or Aachen or wherever. But they didn't actually know where they were going. And you can imagine going to after the war. Too. And uh, anyway, they arrived in the area and were brought to here in Glen Creek. Almost 100% of them had no English. And most of the people assisting them had no German. <laughs> can you imagine that? Thing, but, but there was a whole, the nuns had a whole team of people who, and anyone who could speak German, they would latch uh, onto as best they could.